Welcome back everyone. You may be wanting to try to go ahead and connect your Galaxy Watch to your Google Pixel. Now luckily for you it's a pretty basic process. What you want to start off by doing is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your Google Play Store. You want to go and click up here and you want to type in and look for the Galaxy Wearable Watch app. Now it looks like Gar now it's now it's just the Galaxy Wearable app like this, very similar to the how it is on Samsung's. And all you have to do here is go ahead and once you have it downloaded, you want to go and open it up. Now you also want to make sure that the Galaxy Watch is on the you know home screen. So you want to go ahead and reset it. If you don't know how to do that, you can probably look it up. But you just want to make your way over to your settings application. You can go and pair it up and basically reset it that way. Now on your Galaxy Watch app, what you want to do is you want to go ahead. If a prompt comes up, you want to just allow all the options that come up. You want to go and click Start. And what'll happen is you'll get this little prompt here, which their Galaxy Watch. Now, like I mentioned, make sure your Galaxy Watch is on the home screen like this. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on it. Now, hopefully it'll go ahead and connect. As you can see, once you see these options, you want to go and click pair and connect. You want to go and click here, click pair. And the Galaxy Watch is just vibrating like crazy. And you can see that it'll go ahead and tell you to go ahead and check your specific pixel. And it'll go ahead and say install Galaxy Watch Manager. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and install this for the time being. And it does say check your phone to complete setup. Now once this is go now once this is you know actually fully enabled and everything, what you want to do is you want to make your way back into the Galaxy Wearable Watch app. And then sometimes I guess you may have to go ahead and reconnect it for some reason. So we'll just go and reconnect it for the time being. So now it'll say sign in for more features. You want to go and click skip or whatever you want to do if you want to do it or not. You can go and click continue here. And all you want to do is just get into a panel where your Galaxy Watch finally switches back to a different page. So here it'll say, do you want to, you know, whatever you want to go and click allow. It'll say, do you want to allow, you know, yeah, just keep, keep clicking allow for everything. It'll just make things so much easier. And then it'll say allow notifications. Okay, click allow. And then you want to go and click agree. And look what happens. It'll go and start telling you to get your Galaxy Watch ready or it's getting your Galaxy Watch ready. And sooner than later, your Galaxy Watch will finally switch over to a different panel. Now, I noticed that once it gets to about 20, 30 percent, it starts going much faster. So there we go. And then so 10% you know, in, it's like instantaneous almost. And then sooner than later, you'll eventually get into a different panel on your Galaxy Watch once this comes up, I think. And this is like my fourth time of reconnecting my Galaxy Watch to all my devices. So it's been kind of a process. But basically what will happen is your Galaxy Watch will then pretty much go through the regular standard process of just getting all your data and everything. You can go and sign into a Google account if you want to. In this case, I'll just click skip. And once this, and this is pretty much all you have to do. There may be like one other prompt that comes up, but this is pretty much it. After this point, your Galaxy Watch will be able to go ahead and pretty much be able to be used 100% to your Google Pixel. Now, there are still some features that may not transfer over. As far as I know, the Samsung Galaxy, you know, those type of phones line up typically do, you know, give you a better experience overall. But now it says you're all set. And now you can go ahead and pretty much use your Galaxy Watch after it fully restarts. Now this watch is almost exactly the same thing how it is on the Pixel. So again, if you have a Pixel or on the Galaxy, you know, so if you have a Samsung Galaxy into the Wear Watch app, it's almost exactly the same exact thing. So in this specific situation, pretty much the same thing. You just wanna go and go through here and it'll say, take a tour of your watch. You can go and click start. And that is pretty much it. You're pretty much good to go as of this point. So if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.